the football season has already started. So I know you're a big tailgater, uh, obviously, when you're not working. So describe your perfect tailgate. Yeah, for me, I think one of the things that really sticks out when I look back on a tailgate that I love, whether I hosted it or went to it, it's just everyone gathering together and having a whole lot of fun. And it sounds simple, but there are some key important ways that you can make sure that happens. I think a lot of it is catering to each fan base or multiple fan bases of the fans that you have at your tailgate, and also making sure that you've got lots of options food-wise, game-wise, entertainment-wise for little ones who may show up at your tailgate. All right, and switching over to the football side of things as the Razorbacks are about to kick off super soon and not this weekend, but the one after. And what are your expectations for the Hogs this year? I think they're going to be really good. A lot of people have them in their top 25. I'm in that category as well. You know, look, when you look at returning players and returning starters, the fact that Rocket, San Rocket Sanders is back is huge. Uh, it, just with the way that Arkansas wants to play football, I think it makes a huge difference. And, you know, Sam Pittman has admitted that last season was not the standard that they want to be at. They're better than that. I think they're going to be a lot better than that this year. They've got some nice size at some key positions to play a really physical brand of football, which is crucial in the SEC West. So I'm excited for Arkansas. I think they could end up really making a lot of hog fans happy this year. And what are your thoughts on the SEC West this year? That's going to be super competitive. I mean, you think about the fact that we're all talking about Georgia at the top of the game. That makes sense, right? They're in the east side of things. But when it comes to the west, Alabama is still probably going to be a major contender there. Uh, you know, you got to think about LSU. They're outside the top four for a lot of people preseason. But I think they're knocking on that door with a ton of talent and certainly some key returning starters, as well as Brian Kelly being back. The West is going to be a gauntlet once again. Um, and that's why, you know, you look at Arkansas' schedule, it's so difficult always. I, I even point out the Arkansas at Ole Miss game, which is actually October 7th. Honey Baked Ham is going to be there, by the way. So if you want to stop by and check out their new tailgate packs, they'll be on campus for that game October 7th. That's a huge one for me that I, I think could make or break both of the seasons, whether it's Ole Miss or Arkansas, but um, a, a great opportunity for Arkansas to beat Lane Kiffin and that Ole Miss team that always has some pizzazz to it as well. And I guess like with how tough the Razorback schedule is along that stretch, like as what would you tell fans, I guess, during that, like watching that, how to kind of like, you know, well, I guess, what are your expectations, I guess, for that? It's a, it's a gauntlet, really. Yeah, it's tough because, you know, Arkansas fans are some of my favorite fans because they care so much. Um, and, and it's hard because I think they've been knocking on the door a lot of times. They've also had a lot of games that they've really, they've almost won. They've lost by really close margins. Uh, so to me, you know, the way you look at it is, is you hope you win those games and maybe they will, right? Like some of them are at home during that really crazy stretch, but either way, I think you, you look at college football as a whole and the changing landscape, there's going to be more opportunity for teams like an Arkansas potentially when there's not just four teams in the college football playoff, it's going to expand. Um, the other thing I would say to Arkansas fans is have a whole lot of fun at your tailgate. I mean, <laughs> I know that they can uh, tailgate with the best of them. So, you know, go get you at your local Honey Baked Ham store, a new one of their new tailgate packs and celebrate with that instead of focusing on a loss or, or a game that isn't going your way. You start eating one of these sliders out of the pick two slider <laughs> pack and you're saying, all right, all my worries are gone. This is so delicious. I've got garlic butter running down my mouth. I don't care what Arkansas is doing on the field. I'm kind of kidding. But either way, uh, it is a great way to kind of take your mind off of some negativity in football to be able to celebrate with your tailgate and especially using Honey Baked Tan to facilitate that for you. And last question here. Of course, with college football, the landscape is changing. And the SEC specifically, they're not going to have the divisions anymore, especially with the addition of Texas and Oklahoma. Do you think that teams are really going to go hard this year because it's the last the, trying to end it with a bang really the last year of the traditional sec yeah i think it's a great point i mean i feel like even just as a fan of the game that we need to savor every moment of this college football season even more than we have in the past because it's never going to look like this again you know the sec is going to look different the pac-12 may not even exist at this point. The Big Ten is a behemoth. The Big 12, I mean, how it all ends up shaking out and, and what expansion looks like in this new era and new age of college football makes you feel like 
whoever wins championships, whoever wins games in this last season of how it currently looks will almost matter more in a way. Um, so I do think it's going to mean just a tad bit more than it already does. It already means a ton to all of these players and coaches and fans. But this year is certainly unique in that way. Definitely looking forward to that for sure, Laura. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to speak with me. And we'll have a great, fun football season, hopefully. Yeah, I can't wait. Remember, if you want to order one of the new tailgate packs, you can go to honeybake.com slash tailgate. I appreciate you, Sierra.